Uh, Prairie Hawker, Don, I would like to ask you if you think many of the modern day talents can actually survive a training camp like Vern Garnier's. Some of the stories I hear, especially about Vern's training camps, are brutal to say the least. How do you think young talent today would have fared in such an environment? I think these guys do go through a hell week, don't they? I, uh, I think these. Well, wow. I would think these these trainers and stuff put them through a. I don't know how the how the uh, how the wrestling schools go, but I know they 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 try and work them out. I had um, I had a school down in, in Honolulu here. I had nothing to do with it. I was my son was I was just trying to keep my foot you know in the door, so to speak, with wrestling and. Then, so I let this lady use my name for anything, and she put up a, and I did some promos for us. I, I, and I said, "Come in, you know. Come in in shape, you know. We're not. This isn't a, this isn't a health club. We're going to get you in shape, you know. Come in, come in in shape. So, but you know, I, I suppose that that's their attitude when you first come in. They want you to be in condition, and you know, it's pretty much, you know, the the, the trainer's going to do what he. They always they got old salty guys running the. They got salty guys running the running the. Uh, everybody loves me today for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They got salty guys. They got salty guys running the uh, running those camps. And I think you know they're they're driving these kids pretty hard, as far as I know. Well, uh, give us uh, give us maybe like a typical week in uh, AWA Vern's training camp because didn't you actually like train some of the kids or like wrestle with them at some point? Well, I went down there with Robinson. I I, I tagged along with Billy and. Uh, when I went down by myself, that was the, the happiest time they had because we just did uh, we we, they, we just did regular wrestling. When they go in, they they start with the, the, that Brunzel, Bruggers, Ganya, Cosgro, Patera. There's another one. Uh, anyway, Steamboat. Flair. Yeah, Flair. Flair. No Flair. So they they'd have first, you know, they'd guy. They they were big guys. Flair was. 300 pounds. They'd have them run two, three miles at first. Then they'd get them up in the ring and then it's the two, three, four, 500 squats with the push ups and the calisthenics and the burpees. And then, the, then they usually had a guy like uh, an old time, you know, like, like these old uh, guys, that, like George Scarpello or Danny Hodge or one of these guys that, you know, not a, not a, not a bodybuilder, not, not a, not a tough looking guy at all. And in fact, Joe's. Nicest guy in the world, but you know they, and you know somebody like uh, get, and they, these guys would be just exhausted, you know. And, well, not the sheik, but you know, and they and they, they they'd work out, and then they just they put guys as you know stew hard holes, and they just hook them and stretch them, and you know have their way with them. Then they, and well, after plus you'd go through a series of bumps, you know, you take take beal after beal after beal, you'd line up and go. It's like a football practice. You know, like they beal, 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 and you know, back up, they, you know, um, um, this ball back, back up, back up, and you know, stuff like that. So then, and then they wrestle and stuff. But when I showed up by myself, it was just, you know, cup calisthenics workout, and then uh, on to the matches. <laughs> Did uh, was Vern trying to run everybody off, like take the money and run them off, or was he? Uh, actually trying to get them to work, uh, you know, work out as wrestlers because he was getting a piece of the contract. Yeah, I think he was trying to, you know, develop talent. I mean, all the guys he had in there, well, Jim, his son, and then Greg turned out to be a good hand, but Jim Brunzel was an athlete, Cosgrove, um, international uh, wrestling star, um, Bobby Bruggers, ex-football player, foot, flair, 300-pound football player, Ken Patera, ex-Olympian. So, I mean, he had a bunch of guys that, 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 that you know, I'm, I'm sure he could see, you know, hope, hopefully draw money down the line. That, that did, a lot of them did draw money down the line. Hmm. And that he, made, you know, made back on each side of it. So, you know, it was a win-win for him. Mm -hmm.